This short video will explain how to change the input type and range on your Vertex SD660 indicator. In order to reach the type parameter, you press the set button and hold it in for a few seconds until you reach the PID level. You then release the button and press it again and hold it in for a few seconds until you reach the type parameter. This is where you will choose the type of thermocouple you are using by pressing the up or down buttons. The default setting is type K, but you could choose one of the other thermocouples like th uh, type T or E or B etc. I'm going to leave this one set on type K. You will then skip through the different parameters till you reach the parameter called LOLT. The LOLT is the low measuring point of your range and is currently set to zero. We don't advise that you change it from zero unless you are working with negative temperature values. The next parameter is the HILT and for type K this will be set at a thousand. If, for example, you're mostly working at 200 degrees C, you could drop the HILT to a value of 400, giving your indicator a range of 0 to 400 degrees C. But at the end of the day, it really makes little difference. Having set those parameters, the last thing to do is press the two outside buttons together for a few seconds and the display will flick back to show you the measured temperature. You have now set your thermocouple input type and the range and can continue to use your indicator.